Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and EscapeRoomElectronics.com. Uh, lazy Friday afternoon, uh, and so I'm just uh, making a video just to kill some time. Um, what I've got here is a very slow linear actuator, strong linear linear actuator, but slow. It's 12 volts. Uh, a lot of 12 volt linear actuators are pretty slow. Um, takes about 40 seconds to fully extend it. And uh, what I've got on the right is a uh, this circuitry I've got, I'm using uh, P-channel and N-channel FETs to drive the linear actuator. Once it's actually started to drive, the linear actuator only takes about 900 milliamps. The initial, uh, the initial startup current was about 2 or, two or 3 amps, uh, but then it settles. And so I've got, it's right now what it's, it's programmed to do is the Arduino is doing next to nothing. It's literally turning, it's, it's turning one output on for 40 seconds, turning that output off, then turning another output on for 40 seconds, then turning it off. And that's what it's doing, is pulsing to pull in and push out. And the reason why I'm making this circuit is because my next Kickstarter campaign will be involving uh, mag locks and linear actuators and, and whatnot. So, and I've never built a driver circuit like this before. I usually use relays to create essentially an H-bridge. Um, and but I've got, what I've got here is an H-bridge using PFETs and NFETs. And, I've got, and the stuff on the left, this stuff here is unrelated. I've just got a circuit board plugged into a breadboard interface with my Arduino and a couple pull-down resistors just to uh, keep the FETs turned off uh, when not being controlled directly by the Arduino Uno. So this program is very basic. It's just back and forth, on and off. Um, I just wanted just to make sure that uh, there were going to be no problems driving it with the NAT Mega chip. Not that I thought there would be. The circuit's uh, relatively good. And I've got my circuit board done for the Kickstarter campaign. I just need to order them, build them up, build up one or two of them, and create some programs uh, to test with before I even start working on the Kickstarter campaign. So I don't imagine I'll launch that for Kickstarter 32 for another few months, but I just wanted to share because it's been a lazy Friday afternoon. I'll give you another, a better close-up of the FET board. So a jumble of wires. I'm actually going to unplug power just because I don't want that humming in the background. Uh, but what I've got here is, is uh, a jumble of wires, and this was merely laziness, proof of concept essentially. Not proof of concept, the concept's already been proven, but proof that I could do it relatively easily. Um, and uh, and so there's actually two N-channel FETs and one, uh, sorry, there's four N-channel FETs and two P-channel FETs on here. Uh, and really the gauge of wire I should be using much thicker. I'm sure I'm getting losses because I'm using such thin wire. Um, but I knew I knew that for this application, just to just to basically tell myself, okay, this circuit is sound, this circuit works. I knew that this wire would work, so I've got my power inputs, my FETs, uh, a five volt regulator uh, for s other circuitry, and uh, obviously I've got my linear actuator plugged into this terminal block. And what it's doing is the if the the H bridge is reversing polarity uh, every 40 seconds to the uh, power to the linear actuator, which allows for it to go in both directions. Uh, I love linear actuators. I just wish I had some faster ones. I'll have to go exploring. But my Kickstarter will also allow for you to control two mag locks and a linear actuator, and it will have. Um, well, I don't want to give too much of it away because it's got a lot of neat options, and you can program it yourself if you want to. So, uh, happy Friday, everyone! I hope you're having uh, a lovely summer. And uh, if you haven't already, check us out at, at Engineering Shock Electronics. Uh, engineeringshock.com or escaperoomelectronics.com. Take care, everyone.